No one's saying anything. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. Hi, guys. That was my audition song. Everybody's All right, we're going to get uh, content matched. <laughs> They're all singing. Hi, guys. Welcome. We're in New York. <laughs> and hopefully that did not cause content ID. All of a sudden, everyone was like singing together. How are you guys? Good evening. Welcome to the live stream. I'm wearing the, the, the shirt that Lamont got me. Thank you so much, Lamont. Waiting for. There's my family members staying away from the music. My uncle's there. My mom made Prosta Primavera. I am making brownies right now. It's my favorite uh, depression food. Brownies. I don't know why I'm depressed. I just don't. Hey Brad, how are you? Good to see you. How's your day? It's just hard. Just hard. I had to bring George to the vet today, so kind of exhausted. What's up, Texas? How are you? What's up, Alberta? How are you? What's up, guys? Let us know. By us, I mean me, myself, and I. Where you're from? We have a lot of cleaning to do. I wanted to clean my room. That was my goal. Oh. It's funny. There's a there's a guy on TV. I don't want to show you who it is, but my cousin w swiped right on Tinder with him. She she showed me, she showed me him. He's on this TV show, and I just like looked up. I'm like, oh, that's the guy who swiped right with my cousin. Her dad's in the kitchen. He doesn't know. <laughs> Hello, yum brownie. I know. Very exciting. What's up, Mona? How are you? Or Mono, how do we say that? Mahakita, what's up, Philippines? I'm just chilling. Just chilling. What's up, Isaiah? How are you? Good afternoon, Gary from New Zealand. When can I see it? When can you see what? What's up, Belfast? Wow. Hey. Hello from Cali. Hello from uh, Louisville. Hi from England. We have worldwide people. Oh my goodness, Julio, you are like the luckiest person I've ever met. <laughs> wow. Hello from Toronto. I love brownies too. It's like my favorite thing ever. Hmm. Long Island. What's up, Carlos? Guys, I don't like to talk about politics. I just stay away from it. I stay away. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Terry. I'm going to have to block you. All right. You're entertaining. Thank you, guys. I try. I try so hard. What's going on in New York? Well, my uncle came over. It's my dad's birthday coming up. Daddy! I'm gonna throw you a surprise party for your birthday. Are you excited? I'm, I'm gonna be there. I'm inviting all of my viewers to your birthday party. <laughs> what? Dan what did you say, Daniel? Hi. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> oh wow, Dave. I hope your your arm gets better. Let's see. Let's see, guys. You wanted to see the brownies. Red garland. Oh. All right, guys. Very exciting right now. We got a brownie in the oven. Slowly but surely. And red garland playing piano. That's my uncle Daniel. <laughs> Somebody was like, oh, I thought you were going to be walking around in nature. No, we're walking. We're walking around in New York. 
Yay! All right, how much more time on the timer do we have? Alexa, how much time on the timer do you have? There are no timers set. Oh. How long did was that? Alexa, when did my last timer go off? Oh, no. When did my last Oh, no. What did you need to do? Because it had gone off. Yeah, I needed another 15 minutes. Alexa, because it was only 21. I needed 12. Who is that? How long have we been live, guys? This is a problem. Tommy Flanagan. Oh boy. Central 31 to 43 minutes, 34. So, Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. How could be a surprise? You just told him. Red, I got a pen, pet God. What do you need a pen for? Uh, to write down Red Garland. A oh. great jazz pianist. Everyone should listen. It's like he's a radio host right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Garland at the piano and at the keyboard. And that bass fiddle with Fred Serrata. Oh, boy. Say hi to Mom for me. Hi, Mom for me. Hi. What's up, Lisa? How are you guys? We're just making brownies. And I like to spin them around, and I guess Alexa didn't hear me set the timer, so now I'm nervous. Oh boy. Feels good to get away from the bugs. Yes, it does. Oh god, guys, I was just having nightmares every night about those bugs. I couldn't take it any longer. What's up, guys? What's up, Philippines? Mahakita, how are you? I know. Yes, somebody said, somebody said, good to see Uncle Daniel again. Daniel, you're a character on my live stream. Uh, He's a character. Yes. Hi, Lauren's mom. Hi. Oh, Anika said, who are you? Why do I follow you? I don't know, but thank you. Thank you for following me. I mean, it's it's nice to meet new people. Is it my 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 uncle is philosophizing about the real poets. Our songwriters in this century. Oh, but a flower. Stick a fork in it and see if it's done. Sorry, mommy. Do you think it looks done? I don't think it looks done. I think maybe five more minutes. Be safe. Thank you, Diana. It looks like it needs more cooking, right? I'm trying to see if it's way on the side. Yeah. All right. Alexa, how much time on the timer do I have? Okay. Sorry for messing the song up. All right, guys. Just you guys let me know in five minutes if you can. Somebody let me know because they're getting annoyed. I'm messing their music up. They're like, do you have to live stream? I'm like, yes, I have to do it every day. You don't understand. All right, guys. It's been a long time. It's been about a week since we were cleaning and it has not got better. This room is a disaster. Guys, for those of you who are new and tuning in, I came to my childhood bedroom. What's up, Shelly? How are you? And uh, I've just been cleaning everything out. I found my mom threw a bunch of stuff in my room. I got a bunch of stuff out of the attic and everything is a mess. Oh, somebody said, I found a, a great way to work out. Great way for you to work out. It's called... Okay, that sounds cool. I mean, honestly, guys, I'm kind of, like, over paying for workouts just because, I, I don't know. My, my idea is that there's so many free workouts online. There's so many free trainers. I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay to work out. It's partly because I danced all my life, and I always had scholarships where I went. So I just hate paying. <laughs> I'm like, I want free workout plan. I'll go online and do it myself. 
All right, guys, we have a huge pile of clothes. It's just so big. Hi, guys. Hi, I want my Lauren. Hey, Corey. Corey Cornell. Oh, I hope that I do not forget my uh, brownies. I was very excited about the brownies. I've been feeling like little tingly sensations. Hopefully I'm okay. I'm, be I'm getting nervous because, see, my dog is getting chemo and uh, he keeps licking me. And they said that's one of the things that you have to, like, be aware of. Like, if they lick you, that it could be dangerous. So, so yeah, there's that. There's that. Just trying to organize everything. There's so much stuff. I have no room to put it. I'm like, I don't know where to put anything. Hey, guys. So what I know to now is what we're eating. I'm hungry. Yes. I, I think hungry is the state of mind. I'm always hungry. What time is it there? I'm not sure it's dark out. I know it's dark. I had a long day because we drove back from New Jersey. And then um, and then I, I was cleaning, helping my mom clean. And then we had the vet appointment. So very uh, excited. And I washed my hair. I washed the oils out of it. What do you think? It's still kind of, it's still like, even though I washed the oil out, I feel like there's still oil in it. I don't know. I just feel it. But I didn't have knots. I think it's the shower head at my parents' lake house that gives me the knots, really, which is kind of frustrating. Hello. Hi, you, honey. You are so pretty. Wow. Thank you. That's really sweet. Hello, my lovely American friend these days. Hello, Gary. I like being everyone's American friend. <laughs> I'm like the silly friend. Guys, do you have silly friends? Who here has like, you're just like crazy friend? I definitely, I definitely have had my share of crazy friends. I feel crazy sometimes. Ooh, I'm gonna put these socks on. Like I found, oh, what's up England? I wanna go back to England so bad. I love England. England is like one of my favorite places ever. <laughs> If I had to pick a city to live in, and it wasn't in America, it would be England. <laughs> um, I love LA as where I live, just because the weather is perfect. That's all. Thank you, Gary. Oh, wow, Casey, that's cool. And maybe it's a sign I should go back to medical school. <laughs> yeah, guys, I kind of am a failure. I was supposed to be a doctor and then I became like internet famous, which is like silly. It's fun, Lisa, it's fun to be silly because it shows you have a personality. You know, it's just like, oh, they're easygoing, they're normal, they're not, you know, stuck up. In LA, a lot of people can be stuck up and you meet them and it's just awful. Just like, just like weird. Like they automatically, I, I've, I, there's so many times I've been at like weird parties. Because in LA, somebody knows somebody who's famous and you get invited there, right? So there have been so many times that I've been hanging out with like all of these Instagram kind of model girls and they a lot of times are very vapid and it's kind of vapid of me to, to call them out for it. But I can just, I remember one party I was at where I could to hell, like the two girls I was talking to were hating on me hardcore. They were just like not nice and like, kind of joking like making jokes about me as I was sitting there I'm like oh really like you don't think I'm understanding and I'm just I'm like the nice person that like sees the person joking about me but I don't say anything but then after I'm like why didn't you say that like why didn't you yell it like why didn't you say it? something to those girls for for being mean mean girls true story about LA yep yep LA is very uh uh hardcore they can be in the South too. Wow. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I honestly, all my friends in the South, like my, well, I, my friend from Atlanta, my friend from Atlanta, like all my friends from Atlanta are really nice. Like just like ridiculously nice, you know, I don't know. In New York, people are just real. Like they're not going to be fake with you. They're just going to be honest, which I like. That's what I like about New York. I like this headband. Yes. Oh, you got family in Colorado. Guys, has it been five minutes? Has it been five minutes yet? Because we were supposed to get the brownies out of the oven. This is why I kind of suck. Yeah, LA is very jelly culture. Oh, thank you. You're, you'd be cool to hang out with. Thank you. 
I kind of felt lost at that Hollywood party. It was very awkward. Third shout out to I Want My Lauren. Guys, has it been five minutes yet? Should we go try it? Let's, let's just go. Let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. This room is never going to get cleaned. No matter how hard you try, Lauren, it's going to be a mess. You keep it so real. You got to keep it real, guys. You want to know why? Because why bother? <laughs> Like, why bother if if things are fake? Like, why you bother? Why you bother? All right, let's see if um. Don't look at my my messy office. Don't look at it. What's up, Ada? How are you? My childhood room is a disaster. It's so messy. My house here, cause like the first few months of quarantine, I just threw everything out of everywhere and was cleaning. Oh, you want me to talk with a British accent? My accent isn't so good. You are beautiful and I love your long hair. Is the brownies ready? Yeah. All right. So excited for the brownies. All oh, right. Okay. Let's see. Oh, they do look ready. Yay. All right, Daniel. Don't, don't knock this down. Daniel was, uh, was modeling my father's house. Ah, vivta mia santorera. Look, guys, isn't it look yummy? Brownies! I got whipped cream in the lake. You got whipped cream in the lake. That doesn't really help us. <laughs> All right. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. All right. Look how great. Yay. What? You want brownies? Yes, yes. Right, I love brownies. <laughs> I'm a great lover of brownies. My name is Beldini. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Can you pass hi. me my water? Huh? Oh, you want to say hi? My uncle's a painter, guys. He yeah, sells paint, his paintings. I, I paint people's houses. Dining room, living room, kitchen, hallway. You want to come to LA? Yes. You paint my house? I will paint your house. I need to paint the outside. You can get on the roof. Oh, I'm a roofer too. <laughs> I'm a roofer too. You should see me dancing the tango on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I love to do the tango on the rooftop. In California. See, see this? Too? I do the tango. Right. All right, that's my Uncle Daniel, very funny uncle. They're talking, they're talking about stuff. Oh. Do you like, what is graffitini? I don't know what that is. What's up? Come to LA and let's get some fabulous food. That sounds good. I know guys, I love brownies. It's like my superpower. I know, my uncle's very funny. I love my uncle. It's very, very funny. Brownies, they're actually, what, what is it? Dark chocolate brownies? Oh, sing some sex, Frank Sinatra. I have so much cleaning to do, guys. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. This room is a mess. Ah. I'm just gonna like, like what, what happened, Lauren? You're not cleaning your room. Just like taking a break. Like, this is hard. Hey, hey, look at this dress I found in the attic. Isn't it cute? Oh my God, I love this dress. I love this dress. Okay. Um, what's the best thing you can do now? Cooking, right? Yeah, well, cleaning, I mean, cleaning I think is the easiest for me to interact with people, although like I am not very good at it. I think the best thing that I can physically do, like as a person, uh, shoot TikTok videos, which terrified that they're gonna delete the app. I'm like, no, don't delete it. Okay. Okay, guys. Hello. You got brownies. So how's George? N George is good. I'm in New York right now, so not New Jersey. George is good. He had a good doctor's appointment. And I'm just in my room feeling overwhelmed by the mess of clothes everywhere. 
See guys, I, for my quarantine, decided to clean out like all of the closets in the house. What's up, Michelle? I cleaned out the closets, I cleaned out the drawers, I did a, I did a corner of the attic. And I just found like, in my cleaning I found clothes. So that's the problem. And now they're all, all the stuff I pulled out of the attic and different places in my house, they're all on my bed. So it's just not, it's not a good look. Although I don't know if you guys remember the day we were cleaning when I found the diamond uh, earring that my grandmother gave me that I had lost. So I guess that's like a score. That's good because I thought I for sure lost it. So I was really sad about that. So I was really happy that I found it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, besides that, it's like, there's so much stuff. And I had, I brought back a, a Christmas present from LA for my cousin and I kind of lost it in this mess. I totally lost it. This is something I found out of the attic. I think, I'm not sure if it was from like my childhood room, but I was like, this is so cute. How adorable is this? Like, these are really cute. Like, I don't know. Are they too babyish though to hang on my walls in my new house? Let me know guys. Do they look like they should be in a child's room? <laughs> I found them in the attic and I was like, oh, these are cute. Let me know. Any women here that know design, hit me up. Tell me if this is cute enough for an adult woman's house. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it's too childish. <laughs> Hello. Okay, guys, we are just folding clothes. I'm finding so many cute things. I don't even have any room in my drawers. I'm like, what do I do with all this stuff? I don't know. Oh, thank you guys. Muy bien, someone just said. Muy bien, E2. I'm just here. Have no fear. Oh, I gotta start a new bag for socks. That's, I brought all my uh, unmatched socks to the lake. I have to like sit for a day and match them. Can I ask you some questions? Ooh. What kind of questions? Like personal questions? Questions that like nobody knows? Questions you can find online? Ugh. Oh. Yeah, I did a video today reacting to my Reddit page, like the Reddits of me, and it just upset me. It really upset me. I was just not happy with what I found about me on the internet. Have you been, oh my God, Michelle, I love San Diego. San Diego is one of my favorite places just because the air there feels, the air just feels clean. I don't know how to explain it. And the wind, how the wind blows, like everything about San Diego is awesome. Just love it. Love it. You want to ask me some questions? What are the questions? You think they're cute? Okay, good. Thank you, Michelle. All right. Because they look, I don't know. I, I like them, but they look childish. That was just my question. Oh, are these even going to fit me? These are, I don't know. Made in Indonesia. The perfect pants. <sighs> I don't know. Found a lot of child's clothes. Like my sister lived in the house for a little bit um with her kids so she like left a lot of stuff like in a drawer so i have to figure out what i'm gonna do with that and she's gone she's generally like my sister's really good at just getting rid of stuff she's like get rid of it she's like i don't want it throw it away thank you guys you're very sweet very very sweet i'm just uh in the house right now yeah that's why you've been listening to Radiohead, Michael said. No, Radiohead is like everyday choice. <laughs> Radiohead is just something I've always liked to listen to. For sure. <laughs> box you. What does that mean? Do you know what that, what does that mean to box somebody? I have no idea. You got family where? Oh, in, in, uh, in San Diego. San Diego's beautiful. You should try to go like visit them if you can. So beautiful. What's, can I help? Oh my goodness, yes. You wanna help me clean? That's very sweet of you, but I don't think it's possible. I think you just like, you, you get to here, you get to the point where it's so bad, you're like, I can't do it anymore. I just can't. Lisa, do you and your sister look like, yes. She's like, she's a lot older than me, but we do look a lot alike. She's like a, like growing up, she was always like a, very, a, pr a much prettier version of me. Um, yeah, but, and, but now like, cause the internet stuff, people would mistake her for me and, uh, she just didn't like that. So she like, uh, deleted me off of all social media. So people don't find her. Like people were literally like going to her place of work 
like <laughs> husking her out and she's married and has like kids so she was not happy about that she was like get your fans away from me and I'm like but I didn't tell them to go visit you she's just like I don't care she got really angry at me it's like okay we will never talk about you again sister ever can you give me a special place in your heart everyone gets a special place in my heart everybody 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 are you gonna go to my place where's your place oh boy I'm in New York right now Joe that's where I am New York City welcome to new I mean I mean this is Queens I guess it's not technically New York City we're in a, a, a small borough outside of New York City that's filled with um, families and stuff but yeah can, uh, I could give everyone gets oh Port Washington nice uh, that's that's one of the first places I worked I worked at a school in Port Washington and I had an ex-boyfriend that I would spend a lot of time with in Port Washington but she watches your live streams um sometimes sometimes she does not really I think more like her friends will watch it and then like send her like if I'm ever saying anything they send her it so I have to be very careful because you never know who's watching on here guys like like that's one of the things like I don't know North Carolina Tennessee Georgia Florida yes but yeah are you single yeah so single right now um we'll see see what happens nice joe that's cool what do you do here's a glove what am i supposed to do with whose glove is this i think it's my dad's talk future past is fa past guys i don't know what's going on with this future we're in a really weird place right now guys what is going on with the future we don't know guys i don't know you guys that's the thing we don't know each other we don't know each other so well so many questions guys i said it like five times when you go back to the lake do you guys like where do you like my live streams the best california new york or new jersey let me know let me know guys let me know all right hi raj how are you you're a photographer nice joe that's awesome that's cool. Be like, hey, let's shoot some Instagram pictures. <laughs> Be like, hello, stranger watching my live stream. I have no photos left. <laughs> Give Michael Jackson love. Yes. You're so kind. I love your lives. Thanks, Michelle. You're a sweetheart. I'm finding all these kids' clothes right now of my sister's that she probably doesn't want. So I'm like putting them in a pile. Do you live near Brooklyn? Yeah, did, like Queens is like 20 minutes from Brooklyn. Everywhere in New York is about 30 minutes away. That's how, that, like, e e like it's kind of like LA. Everything is 30 minutes away in general, in life. Except if you're going to like Florida or like Virginia or something, because then you have to take a plane and you know what that means. Okay, you'll let me know. What else do you guys want to talk about? You want to talk about relationships? Do you want to talk about food should i go eat that brownies i made wish i had some milk but i don't oh stephanie said new york awesome oh you like new york the best nice these are strange days yeah i'm like when is this gonna be like at first i was like thinking at first i was thinking all right this isn't gonna last so long i just kept saying it's not gonna last so long and then it just kept lasting long you know i'm just like okay like the first month, at first I, I thought it was gonna like to be two weeks, you know. I'm like, oh, it's not gonna be that long. Now it's like, I mean, is it gonna be like a year later, and we're still gonna be like stuck in this situation? I don't know. Pretty, pretty creepy. Pretty scary. Pretty, pretty scary. Oh, it's kind of cute. It's like a one piece thing. Somebody said the Bible. Would you like me to read the Bible right now? I could get a copy of it. You could read like different passages of the Bible tell us how it that it is outside there um I don't know it's like humid <laughs> that's about it it's very humid what you have oh just normal brownies guys 
I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not fun. I'm kind of boring. Hello, aw. What is this? Ooh, a scarf. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. You guys, I don't even know you guys and you want a relationship. Guys, relationships are funny. You really have to get to know someone before, uh, before you get into a relationship because you never know you never know who they really are what is your next live streaming interviewing what's next um well i'm really excited makeup wise my friend karim and guys i don't know if you follow karim on instagram but she's um doing a live stream with vapor vapor beauty which is the people who sent me those awesome products so i'm gonna watch that one uh but my next one so far is the, um, we have the, the makeup one on Sunday with a real, with a celebrity dermatologist, which I'm super excited about because I don't know if you know, but I have a lot of skin damage from being in the sun. So I'm like, okay, I'm very excited to interview you and potentially maybe I'll even book a session there before because I have to go, I haven't gone to the dermatologist in so long and I have a couple of weird like freckles that I want them to look at my mom too so maybe we'll do something like that if we can i don't know about if, if they'll let us live stream there what is this sweater like where did this come from um yeah so there's that um and what else do i want to do Achoo, i'm gonna see do i like ha i've never been camping oh i like watching you cleaning up your room with your clothes because i like it when you find different clothes there they are cool <laughs> thank you i have to get honestly this is like the 20th black sweater that I pulled out of the laundry. I don't know what it is. I have so many like black hoodies. It's ridiculous. I have to either get rid of stuff or, or uh, sell stuff. You know, that's, that's one thing. That's one thing I have to do. All right, you guys all get special places in my heart. Michelle, I don't know what my favorite chapter of the Bible is. I'm just gonna be honest gonna be real honest oh this is cute it's a little kid outfit oh my goodness executive <laughs> nice what are you trying to help I I know all I need to know about your pity you're smart and seems to be loyal I'm very loyal okay guys so this is the thing I'm supposed to go back to LA July 15th or four actually July 14th it was an overnight flight and then they changed it um but I don't know I might do I might think about doing another session of chemo here my mom doesn't want me to leave so I feel kind of guilty about that that's what's hard about all of this I'm like okay my mom wants me to stay so I might stay longer we have to see we have to see. Donate your clothes to a church. I would, but I don't know. Are people accepting stuff because of this virus? I have no idea if people are even accepting clothes. Oh, I will. I'll check my Discord. See, I have two different phones, and I haven't figured out how to switch it over. There's a... Oh, my goodness. I'm watching the funniest TV show about these vampires in Staten Island. It's on Hulu. It's like... I forget what it's called. It's so funny. They're vampires and they live in Staten Island. It's amazing. I'm like, I'm like, I, I relate to you so much because you live in Staten Island. <laughs> um, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I want to go to Ocean City. I would really like to go to Ocean City. Awesome, Michelle. I hope George is doing well. Me too. This is an old dance leotard. I'm like... I'm like, I should just sell everything. Like, I really should. I guess you got it good. Take your clothes you don't need to Goodwill. No, I, ha I have like, I have like five bags. I just don't think they're open. That's the thing. They haven't been, we're dealing with a pandemic and everything is closed. New York is bad. Will you ever go back to New Jersey? Yeah, I'm going back to New Jersey tomorrow. I just had to come back here today because George's doctor is on Long Island. So that's the problem. So I had to go like all the way to Long Island to go to the doctor. So there's that. Yeah. Yep, guys. Yep, yep, yep. Just organizing all the stuff right here. 
you in the closet yes my my childhood bedroom is really the size of my closet in la it's so small like new york is so much smaller than um california is mahakita what's up teresa how are you just organizing my life right now my room there's so much stuff i'm finding oh these are like weird boot what is this a hat okay guys we're gonna do the room like this now the whole live stream hi i'm lauren welcome to the live stream on today's live stream i'm just going to do this with the hat over my eyes <laughs> oh what is in this so much stuff in, like just trying to figure out what everything is what is all this stuff like what did i put in here like what is this a barbie case this is things I took, I must have took out of the attic or something. What is this? Like a, a picture I ripped up probably of a, an ex-boyfriend. Why do I do that? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Window flower magnets. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> like what is in here? Oh, this is interesting. Like a, is this an oil diffuser? I have such weird stuff that I took out of the attic. <laughs> like... <laughs> My mom, because she's a, t a dance teacher, who it is? It's cucumber melon, home fragrance. How do you how do you use this? I don't even know. Oh, oh, I've always wanted one of these, but it's probably I don't think they're good for you. But I still always wanted one. I'm very excited to try this. You put like the oil in here, and then you put the candle underneath. That's crazy. I didn't even realize I had it. That's that's my house. It's like there's just so much stuff everywhere. She like my hat. That hat looks like a sound thing. Yep. Yep. The end of time. The end of time is your time to be the one here. He messes. He messes you. Yep. The things you find while cleaning stuff. I know, guys. It's craziness. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to stay organized before I go. Because I have to figure out how to... Oh, thank you. Somebody's telling me I remind them of their favorite nurse. That's great. <laughs> What's up, Alan? How are you? I am just chilling in my room right now, organizing the laundry. That's what I'm doing, organizing the laundry. Life. As Warren, what did you do today? Well, I organized my laundry, so I feel like I've accomplished something, guys. You know a good way to, to not feel depressed or feel like you're actually getting stuff done is to try to do something little every day. Like if I just did um, a, a bag a day, I would be happy. But since I'm talking to you guys, I could just sit here, talk, and, and do this. Somebody said, how's the rubbing the skin going? I did it this morning, actually. So for those of you that are new, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like break up the fat, like stimulate the, what's it called? just break up the fat muscle fat cells in my body and lose weight so i've just been using a massage tool like every day on my problem areas and i think it's been working i don't know we'll see it's just you know one of those things oh i need some more water no water left check your discount discord dms yes guys are you all on my discord so discord is cool i can go i go on there and i message with people all day long well, not all day long, because sometimes I get, like, caught up, but, you know, I'll do it a little bit. I will do it for a little. Hello. Have a slate, safe flight back to L.A. Thank you, guys. You're so sweet. More black sweaters. Hey, Matthew. What is that? What's up, Matthew? Little by little. That's all it takes. Yes, for sure. Another black jacket. I'm like, oh, another black jacket. This one's a Nike one. I'm like, do I need it? I only see you as perfect. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. I'm like trying to get rid of all my clothes. Safe travels. Thank you. Yeah, no, I have like five huge bags to get rid of. So there's that. But I don't know um, where they're like where I can donate right now. So that's a problem. That's a problem. 
Oh, that's awesome. Do you learn, Corey, do you learn a lot about people from working in a psych hospital? I bet you do. I bet you like know how people think. These are like dance shorts. I love these. I remember these dance shorts. I'm gonna bring these to the lake. Do you like New York City? I love New York City. I'm from here originally. Before quarantine, I was just like, I miss New York. I like the air. I want to be in New York. And now after being here for eight months, I'm just like, okay, I miss LA. I miss my house. <laughs> I miss my pool. You know, things like that. What did you all say? You seem very organized there. Really? I'm a very good actress. That's what I think it is. I'm very good at acting. <laughs> this is all act. Plato's closet. Yes, that's what it feels like. Oh my goodness. My old dance leotards. I like, I'm so excited to see them. I used to love this leotard. It's like, you feel like when you feel your old clothes. Oh my goodness. I really, I really love this leotard. There's all like rips in it and I like safety pinned the holes. You want to go ghost hunting? We gotta go back to New Jersey then. That's where all the ghosts are. I, honestly guys, I've been up like all hours of the night because I'm I'm literally scared. I'm terrified. Ever since I interviewed Alan about the aliens, okay? I've been terrified the aliens are gonna come get me. Alright? It's it's bad. Oh that's so cool. Thank you so much Michelle for watching the movie. I know it wasn't a big role, but it's cool to even be in a movie with with people that I admire like that. It's really cool. Um and I'm just working and trying to get better in my acting and my craft so I get more jobs. It's really competitive, you know? It's so, so competitive to to act um, full time. And it's just, it's just, it's always like, a lot of times it's like people know somebody or it's just really hard. So I appreciate any support. Thank you guys. Oh my goodness. All my leotards are like messed up. Like they were in the attic why does this happen to the elastic? The elastic in them like melts. Can you guys tell me this? Why does that happen? Why? I just feel like I'm like, should I just get rid of it? Should I throw it out? Somebody said, yes, that's awesome. So many amazing actors. Uh, oh, that's, that's awesome, Corey. Um, watching TV and I just, got the message. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm glad that you joined the live stream. Thank you for the support. I love just hanging out with you guys and talking to you. I'm on Discord too. I should share this to the Discord when I go on. The streets are quiet since production and of Law and Order shut down. <laughs> I know. I, I, made, I did a Law and Order dance the other day. Did you see that on TikTok? It was fun. Oh, that's cool. I've been thinking of uh, going... Um, Wow, that's creepy. Tomorrow's the, is tomorrow the, the anniversary? I'm going to have to text this guy. I keep thinking of, like, texting him. I'm like, I have to text him and tell him, like, do not send the aliens to me. I do not want them taking my DNA. Freaks me out. Really freaks me out. I feel like I have too many followers on social media. Like, a lot of times when people have, like, drama, like, when dramaful people, I just, you meet so many interesting people. Uh, th yeah, they were all very friendly, Michelle. And that was a good thing. Like, a lot of times if you work with someone famous, it sucks if they suck. You know? Because you're just like, oh, I've looked up to them forever and they suck. You know? But everybody I worked with is cool. Um, okay, so I've, I've, I've met some shady people in the past. And you generally shady people do not want to be friends with me. You want to know why? Because they're like, she live streams her life. They don't want that kind of attention. They're like, okay, this girl's too much. Bye. <laughs> So I guess that's like, I guess kind of lucky in a way where it's just like the most of the people I do hang out with uh, either want to be my friend or want to be famous on social media, but at least like they're not scary. <laughs> um, have you gotten to meet any famous actors from New York City? Yeah, I met a ton of famous actors, uh, which is pretty awesome. Like random ones that like I've seen uh, like out. Like, I've seen, like, at Broadway shows and stuff, like, Ethan Hawke, or, like, I was at a restaurant once, and Uma Thurman and Quentin Tarantino were there, which was really cool. Um, it's just, like, you kind of, like, just run into people who are famous. When I lived in L.A., like, the guy, my friend Deep, who I made friends with him, he just knocked on our door by mistake when, it, like, he was looking for a party, and he was, like, at the wrong house. And then I made friends with him. Like, I'm just, like, 
oh, can you be in my videos? And he's in like all the Tim Burton movies. He's such a talent. I like, I, I, I have to, te every day I think about texting him. I have to do it because I, I love him so much. Like out of all my friends, I just, I really respect him. Another actor, I did a movie with here. Like most of the time it'll be like people that you work with um, and then you make friends with them. So, so yeah. But, you know, I have some embarrassing stories where like, you know, you make friends with the actors and then you get invited to like big Hollywood parties and then you get really drunk. Like that's kind of why I don't drink. Cause I like, I can't handle like one glass of whatever. I just get like sloppy. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. So, so there's that. <laughs> oh, the, the, the washing machine changed the color of my tights. That sucks. But yeah, we all have people like that. I feel that you are so smart. Really? Are you sure about that one? <laughs> I don't think so sometimes. I did get a really high, uh, G I had a high GPA that I've done nothing with. What the hell happened to this leotard? Jeez, all these leotards. I have made some friends like that, Lauren. <laughs> Jeez, all, like a lot of these, oh. You know what too happens sometimes? Like my hairs will tickle my arms and then I'll feel like it's like an animal or something. Like, what is that? Oh, I guess I like, a lot of the times I would just like cut and design my own leotards. I guess I, I was really a, ball a ballet dancer. That's what ballet dancers do. Like I would just cut up my leotards. <laughs> like, okay, we're gonna do this now. Gotta know your limits. I know guys, it's, sometimes it's hard. Do you go on uh, auditions? Yes, Michelle, I go on a lot of auditions and it can be scary. Auditions kind of scare me sometimes, but they're cool. And like casting directors are generally like super nice and they just want you to do well. Like, that's the thing. They want you to, they just want you to do well. But a lot of times, like, it's kind of like going on a job interview. You want the job so bad. It's hard. Um, I, I've never met the Kardashians, you know. I, hopefully one day that will happen. I saw Tom Cruise once walking in Manhattan. He was, uh, I think it was like some kind of award show was going on. And I saw him walking with, like, his security. But he made eye contact. And I was just like. Like, you are as good looking as you are in the movies. He's really good looking. My heart just was like fluttering. I was like, Tom Cruise. Like, that's Tom Cruise. You're so beautiful. Anyway. 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 I do like actors. That's kind of my soft spot as actors. I don't mind that you stream your life. Haha, <laughs> it does not bother. It does not bother you. When you have success and when times are not so good, they stop you from being a colleague or friend. Yeah, it's hard. Life is hard, you know? Yeah, Casey, spiritual, like, I guess, like, a guy was, keeps talking about, like, spiritual awakenings, like, that's some intense stuff, right? Very intense. Oh my goodness, this is, like, all of my old dance clothes. I'm like, I want this, I want that. Lauren Mahakita, what's up? How do I say your name? Ataram? That's a pretty name. I know. I we normally do our reactions every day. I react to stuff in the Philippines and India. I'm just tired today. I wasn't even gonna live stream. I was just feeling like blah. I was like, oh, I can't. I can't be fun right now. Just dealing with everything. Like trying to decide what I should do if I should go back to LA or not is the hardest. Oh, you saw Tom Selleck. I love him. He's awesome. When you put oil in your hair, doesn't, don't wash all of it out, leave some. You know what? I did leave some because it didn't wash out. <laughs> and like, I didn't wash it out on purpose. Why do you, what, what, Michelle, why do you say that? Let me know why. It just didn't all come out. So I was kind of annoyed because I washed it twice. <laughs> That's okay. Go take, take good care. Thank you, Atram. Is there any th uh, videos I should react to? guys that like things are popular like i tried to i did a video i'm it's supposed to go up tomorrow wow I, I messed up all of my pink tights guys this is why you don't wash your lights with your darks okay i messed them all up very sad about that um all right so what was i gonna say oh you like my law and order dance thank you oh you guys all follow me on tiktok that's awesome um i was gonna say something Sorry, having a blah day. Thank you, Teresa. It's been a blah day. Oh, so what I did was I reacted. Oh, I have so many of these outfits. 
I should wear them. These are from my childhood dance days. This is like a unitard kind of thing, but I'm like, this is kind of cute. I could wear this. I put it all, when I quit dancing, I put all of my dance clothes in the attic. And I came back here and I was like, where are all my dance clothes? And I went and got them out. Oh, for sure, Stephanie. That's what I'm terrified about. I'm terrified to go back and potentially get it. I have a neighbor. So I have a neighbor. She's like my angel. It's so crazy. I met her in acting class and she's really sweet. And she's like on my like property line. So I want to hang out with her. But that's it in my neighborhood. I don't really know anyone. Oh, it'll help you grow a little faster and bring out color. Oh, cool, Michelle. That's good to know. Thank you. That's good to know. Um, hey, what's up, Stephen Lou? He's my real friend. I know him in real life. <laughs> um, yeah, so what else, guys? What was I saying? I was talking about something, and then I got really distracted. What was, does anyone remember what I was talking about? Probably didn't matter. I want to go to Ocean City. Oh, you want to do TikToks with my mom? If you, Yes, that would be fun. I really want to go to Ocean City before this is over. I forget what I was talking about. Do you remember? I like uh, an actress type of girlfriend. Oh, that's sweet. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. Hi from Cleveland. Yeah, no, I'm pretty much open to, to dating. Like, I have dated actors in the past, and I never have good luck with actors. So, like, I'm looking for, like, a regular person. <laughs> I'm like, they're like, what do you look for? I'm like, I just want somebody normal. Like, is that too much to ask? And they have to have a job. Oh my goodness. Um, your neighbor back in LA watching your house. No, I don't think I was talking about that. <laughs> What's up, Dana? How are you? I'm just here. Something about your dance clothes. No, Michelle, it was something before that. I had one of those blah days. <laughs> oh, no, it was something before that. Oh, yes, Steve Calderon. Wow, Steve, you got it. Um, okay, so so I reacted to the Tachi girl, the makeup drama, but I sometimes I feel guilty reacting about that stuff because I don't know the, the situation, you know? I just, I kind of feel like it's, ne it's kind of negative, but that's what everybody likes to watch online. Like, I'd rather just watch songs and stuff. I mean, honestly, I loved it when I used to shoot my sketches, but... It's just hard to, to shoot sketches nowadays because I wasn't, I wasn't like making money on that. Steve said, I have to have a job. Yeah, I, I want, I need a job too right now. Yeah, thank you, Shelly. Thank you. It's hard. Like with, with what I'm dealing with George, I've just been sad just because I feel like I'm fighting. Like every day it's a fight, you know? Oh boy, what size is this? I'm like going through all of my old clothes, like... Is this going to fit me? Maybe. Oh, this is adult small. So it's a ballet skirt. But like, I don't know. My stomach isn't skinny as it used to be. Hugs. Thank you. Where are you now? I'm at my childhood. This is my childhood bedroom in New York. And it is a mess. It is, it's a disaster. I, um, I've been back in New York for eight months. And I have just... I don't know what I've been doing. Well, for, okay. The first month I came back was October and I was working and I was in Maryland for a little bit. And then I came back here for November. Was I here for November? Yeah, I was here for November. But I, I started getting ready for George to go get surgery. So I was, you know, I have a hard time focusing on life when I have like other things to do. Like I can't focus on more than one thing. Like if I'm working on a movie, I can't focus on anything else. I just have to focus on that one thing. So, so I kind of like, now it's like the first time since quarantine, I was like, okay, I can reorganize everything. And I pulled everything out and messed it all up. What's up, Francis? How are you? That's my grandmother's name. What foods do you like? Italian ones, pizza, pasta, like we had pasta primavera, tomatoes. Oh my God. I love tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes are so good. Do you diet when you're working on in a movie? Depends on like character. Like, if I'm supposed to be skinnier, then I have to diet. What the hell leotard is this? Uh, did I like this one? I think I did, but I don't know. Oh, that's true, John. That's true. Or if, like, he makes the effort to come to you. Like, I don't want to be chasing anybody. 
Oh my goodness, Ellis, how are you? I met him in London. <laughs> he was very nice. Haha, <laughs> were you having milk? No, we, we left the lasagna at the lake. I had a pasta primavera, so it was like, just like pasta with garlic, um, with garlic and um, what's it called? Tomatoes. Very good olive oil. Oh, Michelle, what kind of dog do you have? I got, you gotta send me a picture of your dog. I should like, I, I want everyone, I'm gonna post a picture of George after this. I want everyone to post their pet pics. I love my dog. My dog is like my child. He's so cute. Oh boy. Most of my tights have holes in them. <laughs> Yummy, I know, it was really good. Now you're in New York like a gypsy. What's up, Doug, how are you? Doug's my friend who moved. How are you doing? Do you like the new place he moved out of New York? Do you like it better? How is it going? Guys, this, this, whatever is going on with our world, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty nuts. Oh, Italian food. Yes, it's so good. What the hell? I'm, trying, I'm just going through stuff. Ugh, I think these need to be washed. Oh, Shelly, I'm sorry. Cats are great, though. I love cats. I wish I could have a cat. You have nine feet spirit animals. That's awesome. I feel like the rabbits at the lake are my spirit animals. They're all like, they always visit me. Like I went out the other night, like just to sit outside and there was a rabbit. She said, uh, Terry said, show us something. Um, here's a leotard. Ooh, I love this leotard. This is hard. See, I have so much ballet stuff. I didn't realize how famous you were on Facebook. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. This is my ballet leotard. Oh, I love it. I couldn't sell this one. I love it too much. I'm trying to like, uh, oh, what kind of mix is she? I am trying to get rid of, I want to, yeah, it's hard. After like, when I lost, I had a bird. My bird was freaking awesome. He used to like fly off. I would have his cage up here and I would leave the cage open and he would fly out of my, out of the cage into my bed in the morning and just like sit, sit on my chest and wake me up. Like he would just peck my lips. He would like literally like open my lips and peck inside my mouth to be like, get up. He would be like the weirdest thing. He was the cutest. I miss him so much, but I couldn't ever get a bird after that. I was just heartbroken. And also like, so what happened was I had him in my room and I had always left the air on and I didn't think of it. I thought he would just be fine. And I was working for a few days. My parents were home, you know, but my bird was in my room. And when I got home one day, he just seemed like really weak. And I just always blame myself for not catching it sooner. Cause he was only, I think he was like nine. And those kind of birds last till they're like, supposed to last till they're like maybe 16. So I just, I really blame myself. And that's why I think I'm so insane about George because like when you lose a pet because of that, it just makes you extra. I was like, after that, I was like, I'm gonna be the best pet mom in the world. Oh, this is actually really cute. Some of the rhinestones are missing though. This was for a ballet costume, but the rhinestones are missing. I should put them back on. I'm like, I should save this for something. Oh my God, that's awful, Matthew, I'm so sorry. It was a cockatiel. Oh yeah, Teresa, I saw that. That's what I'm scared, that's that's another reason I'm scared to leave. And I'm scared cause like, my friend from high school passed away. And then like that guy that was on Broadway just died. I was so sad, I was praying for him. I didn't know him, but I have friend. a lot of my friends knew him. And just, it's awful, it's totally, totally horrible. Yeah, thank you, Shelly. After that, like, after that, I'm like, I will do everything to keep my animal alive. So, yeah. But it's just been interesting, and I, I should be throwing stuff away, guys. This is like, I, I have too much clothes. My friend is selling the clothes and giving, what does that mean, t uh, TJ? But you had a parakeet? Yeah, it was really sweet. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. I'm just gonna try to, I'm just gonna try to like organize it right now. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Amit, as I'm like scratching my eye. Here's from where I am, aw. I didn't know that, Ter Teresa. It's just so, this whole situation is just like really heartbreaking, this whole, what's, what's going on with our, 
with everything. Yeah. Teresa, it's just so sad. It's so freaking sad. And, like, for his poor wife, and I just was following their story. I was, like, mi- like, just... You know, like, when you... Like, I'm, like, so many people are praying for him. Like, this guy's okay. He's good. And it just, it's just just really sad. Oh, you have two peacocks. Oh, my gosh. I love peacocks. You have to post your... I'm gonna post a picture, guys. Please post pictures of your pets. I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna, uh, spy on your pets. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I, I'd love to donate clothes, but I have already four bags of clothes to donate. So. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, I, I probably do need some rest. I'm like trying to figure out what I'm going to get rid of, what I'm going to do with everything. Oh, you had a beagle named Trouble. Oh, that's cute. Can I call you Sandra? Very cute. Where's George? He's downstairs. He's downstairs. I'm just trying to... I'm, like, basically going through all of the clothes. This is a nice leotard. Good. I know. I want to go to London for sure. Today was the first day with no new cases. Oh, thank God. Where are you from? Teresa, where do you want to, can you say where you're from? If not, no worries. It's so scary. It's really scary. I'm just like, I'm at a point where it's just like, I want it to be over. I, I want, I want like life to go back to normal. Um, and it's weird because there's some people like a lot of my, like some of my friends, like other influencers are like, oh, it's all bullshit. It's all fake. But then you see somebody that something happened to that guy Nick and you're like but wait then how did he pass away you know I just don't get it I don't understand it I don't understand anything that we're doing right now hey (laughs) can you try anything on guys I just ate so much pasta oh this was one of my favorite leotards I love this leotard oh where did I get this there was this place by the Sancha store and they had like the all these like really cool like leotards What's up, Charles? My day was okay. I've just been like, I don't know, guys. I've been feeling like blah. I'm feeling like a blah. Oh, no. This was white before I put it in the wash machine. This is not good. I'm very sad. It's like I've kept, I kept so good care of all of my stuff until like now. That's shitty. Super shitty. I've messed up my clothes. I'm so annoyed. I just had so, I had so much laundry to do. I couldn't take it anymore. Oh, you have a dog and a cat. That's great. That's awesome. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I messed up half my clothes. Guys, have you ever done that when you do the laundry, messed up your clothes? Oh my God. Is, are they okay, Andy? That's scary. That's so scary. Andy, you're in Florida, right? Oh, thank you, Ellis. Thanks for being a Patreon. You're so sweet. Thank you for supporting the content. Thank you. You're the best. You need to do some exercises and train me. Thank you. Thank you. I need to, I need to lose some weight. I've been eating too much pasta at home with my parents, but thank you. Thank you. I'm going through the clothes. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying. I'm like looking at it. I'm like, are you the one who made my white leotard turn pink? Do you like, oh no half of these fell um yeah i like bunnies especially the ones in the in the backyard they're the best (laughs) all right well i hope i don't mess this thing up i have this thing hanging with all my leotards i have so many leotards now (laughs) after taking i had none and then i took them all out of the attic i took a huge bag out i was like and i collected them from my mom's room thank you guys yeah, probably all the pink stuff. I have so much pink stuff, guys. Definitely all the pink stuff. I don't know what to do. I have to figure out. I have to get more. Uh, I have to either empty some clothes out. I have to figure out. I have to empty them out. This is not a good way to store things. How I'm doing it right now. Oh, God. Somebody said, eat more veggies and stay. I did one time, Lauren. What'd you do at one time, Michelle? I forget. Sometimes this this thing is so laggy. Oh, this is 
this was a white shirt <laughs> like this was a white shirt it is no longer white it's like an off gray oh you messed up your clothes one time yeah oh okay Ellis maybe one day we'll get back to that I'm just uh you know organizing oh yeah I know I'm so sad about it hopefully I don't know I'm gonna try to wash them hopefully I'm able to to get the color out I don't know <laughs> colors change yeah I see that I'm like looking at all my old leotard Aw, I like this. I like this prayer that you said to me. Thank you. Thank you guys for your support and prayers. I appreciate you all. And thank you for sharing my live streams. You guys are the best. You're so sweet. Super sweet. Oh, these are great. These are like, these are the sweatpants. They make you like sweat. I should take these back to LA. Definitely taking these to LA. I have so many pairs of them. I should sell a few. They're like, girls, if you're watching these, actually, I feel like they work. I don't know. Or just like, you know, when you focus on something, it's like the more you focus on it, the better it is. So maybe that's it. I don't know. If we leave the house, we have to wear it. Same thing here in, in New York. If you go to any stores, you have to wear a mask. But the weird thing, like the park by my house, guys, it is scary. I was like, I am not going, because George loves to go to the park. Guys, let me tell you, there were so many people without masks on. It was, like, scary. It was like a horror movie. Like, George wanted to go there. <coughs> just thinking about it, I'm coughing. And there's just, like, people with no masks on. And I'm like, okay. And then George, poor George is like, come on, come on. But all these people had no masks. And the people that did have masks on, they had them, like, oh, like not over their nose. So, yeah. Sad. Do you have workout clothes? Well, that's what we're doing, Terry. I was showing you guys all my workout clothes. That's what we were just doing. Did you miss it? Did you not see? Did you not see what I was doing for the last half hour? What's up, Shiva, Sean? Thank you. I love you too. Love you too. Thank you for being a fan. Thank you for watching my my videos. Oh my God, in your martial arts class you have to wear it? Well, at least you have class. At least you're allowed to open. How does that work? Because my parents' dance studio, I don't know when they're gonna be allowed to open. It's very frustrating. I'm just going to put these. I need, like, another bin or something to put these in. I need to, like, find a bucket. Put them all in a bucket up there. Vitamin D, B. Yes, guys, vitamins are really good during this time. For sure. Oh, my goodness, guys. I thought I'd get a lot more organized than I did. But it's, I haven't. There's still a lot of stuff here. Mmm. Uh. Oh boy. Well, this is a nice sweater. Like, this is nice. Somebody said, what are you saying? I was a football manager in junior college. Oh, wow. What were the results, Manuel? Were they white or were they a different color? I don't know. I feel like maybe they would have been white. Maybe you did a good job. Maybe not everybody's a mess like I am. <laughs> like, I am a mess, but maybe you are not. <laughs> Where can I see your videos? Uh, YouTube.com, I want my Lauren, or just IMDB me, Lauren Francesca. Do it, it's cool, it's fun, it's interesting, it's uh, revolutionary. You'll you'll be uh, greatly surprised. I have, to f we, I have to figure out, oh look, I don't know where the hell I got this. I found it, like most of everything here. I found, my parents have a dance school, so they have a lot of costumes, and they just were like, I guess people like leave parts of their costumes and I was like oh wait this does not need to be in the lost and found because I could totally like do a superhero video or like Count Dracula here always a mess welcome to my life repeat please repeat what I don't even remember what I was saying all right I'm gonna fold this but yeah I kind of love that I have so many weird costumes everywhere like, my life is a bunch of weird costumes. And, like, this, I might even, I should bring it back to L.A., maybe. Wear it with a bathing, wear it with a bikini. 
who are inspiring me. You never know. You know what, uh, Michelle, a lot of this stuff I have from my childhood, um, and I kind of fit in it still, which is good. I mean, like it's super tight, but <laughs> it's, you know, sometimes you can sew things and yeah. Oh, that's Teresa. That's good. You know, it's crazy here. And it really upset me. I was like, I'm not going to go to that park because of all the people without the mask on i'm scared and like i don't know like i have friends who say to me like lauren it's all bullshit but who knows if it's bullshit or not see another pair of, here's another pair of those pants that are supposed to make you sweat it's great to do like stretches or yoga in these kind of pants because when your muscles are warm they're more flexible so yeah what's up martine minnesota i love minnesota my friend nikki lives there. Hot Nikki is from Minnesota. She's, uh, she was in the a YouTube, uh, Nikki Baker. Nikki Baker. You should subscribe. Subscribe to Nikki. What is this? Don't listen to them. Wear a mask. No, I do. I always wear my mask, but I just like, I don't know what people think about it. You know, I feel kind of lost. Cause I'm just like, yeah, that's why I've been here in my parents' house, because I'm, like, scared. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll just, like, be with my parents. Oh, a Hello Kitty black jacket. It's kind of cute. kind of like this. Oh, who's Nikki? Nikki's a famous YouTuber uh, that lives in Minnesota. She li used to live in L.A., and she's really pretty, and she's super nice, uh, and she has, like, she does some mom content, but she's a single mom, so... You got a lot of your childhood clothes, but put them up. Yeah, see, that's what, like, I took a lot of them out of the attic. And then I uh, took a lot of my mom's old clothes out. Because cause now, like, now they fit me. So <laughs> so I took a bunch of her old clothes. And then I found some of my sister's old clothes. I'm like, oh, this stuff is really nice. My sister has some really nice stuff. So, like this, like this sweater that I found of my sister's. I'm just going to show it to you. I asked her if she wanted it. She said no. It has shoulder pads. I'm like, oh my God, this is so 90s. I need this sweater. I'm like, I'm like, I feel like I'm in the 90s. I didn't get to wear clothes like this because I was a baby, but you know, look at it. I was like, I'm so gonna wear this. What do you think, guys? Yes. It's very like, interesting. My mom was like, I tried it on. My mom's like, something's wrong with your shoulders. I'm like, no mom, that's shoulder pads. <laughs> hair color nice thank you thanks okay it's hot it's really hot to be wearing a sweater right now but you know you get the gist of it I think my grandmother gave this to my sister I'll ask her again I don't think she'll want it my sister likes all new stuff pretty thank you I love vintage clothes like that's my like when I went to when I went to London instead of like going to the expensive malls I was like I want to go to all the charity shops <laughs> and like they had like really nice stuff in there for like a pound you know <laughs> I was like oh this is awesome I got so much cute stuff uh dance and drama Michelle gymnastics is there acting is there I grew up like just there I would I'd be reading because I I didn't really when I was a kid I didn't like to dance as much but then like I wasn't very good and the kids would make fun of me. They would bully me because they're like, your parents own a dance school and you're not very good at it. Like I was good at acting. Like I was always just naturally good at acting. So they were like, you're good at acting, Lauren. You're not good at dancing. So I was just like, I, I'm very competitive. And I was just like, you know what? These mean kids, I'm going to get better than all of them. So I started like really working hard and I got better than all of them. But at the same time, I was like, okay, I kind of just like acting. <laughs> so that's, that's been my life. Where's there? In New York. In New York. New York is my dance studio place. I should sell this shirt. So this shirt, my friend in college gave it to me. It's a really nice shirt, except like she ended up, she ended up going behind my back and like telling my boyfriend at the time lies about me because she had a crush on him. It was awful. It ended our friendship. And like she was doing bad. She was failing chemistry. And I took the time out and tutored her ass. And she did that to me because she was jealous. Love you too, Tia. So she had gotten me this for my birthday. And I love the shirt. It's really cute. But whenever I look at it, I just think of her. I think of like, 
yeah, kids are super cruel. I think of, but I, so are women can be really cool, cruel too, especially if they like your boyfriend, you know. And he didn't, he didn't like her. Uh, he, she wasn't his type, but it did cause us to break up. This messed up. Pretty sweater. I had one like that in the eighties. Yes, it's cute. <laughs> Um, those are my sisters. Yeah, she was not a good friend. I don't even know. Here's another bag of clothes. I'm like, where's... I, like, I just keep having bags of clothes. That's why I need to get rid of... Like, there, there's a huge pile this big of stuff to get rid of. So... And the thing that's sad is, like, some of it has price tags on it. Like, I feel like I should just sell everything for cheap. It had shoulder pads. It do have shoulder pads. Where'd you get it? I think my grandmother either gave it to my sister or maybe she gave it to my mother. Um, but I found it in the attic and I was like, oh, this is cute. <laughs> these gloves, see these gloves, I don't know where the other one is, but like the fingers are all weird. Your dream is to visit New York. Oh my God, Shelly, you should. Uh, in the summer is the best time to visit because in the winter it's like impossibly cold and not fun. But if you go in the summer, it's like amazing. I think I'm just gonna throw these out. I've like, like, I, I just, I always remember not wanting to wear them because like, yeah. But you would love New York. You would love New York. New York is great. Um, it's just, there's a lot of energy here. A lot of nice people. You like New York. Let's see. Let's see this sweater. Like going through all the white stuff. Ugh hurt my shoulder somehow I don't know what I did no idea see like this I think was my grandmother's like <laughs> it's like it never ends it never ends the amount of clothes that I've collected from people cool on the winter it's so pretty yeah well it is very pretty because of the snow but like I don't know I don't like snow so I'm just like I'd rather go when it's nice and warm you know I just like warm weather. I love you too. I love you guys too. This is really hot, this sweater. Where the hell did it come from? I don't know where this sweater came from. No idea. Oh, Boston. I love Boston. Boston's fun too. You know what I really love, guys? If you haven't been there, Miami. Miami is the coolest, most fun place to go. It's so much fun. It's like super parties. Like, do you guys watch the, like, the Becoming Versace show? I know that's probably a bad thing since like, you know, it's like based upon this like serial killer, but whenever he goes out to party, okay, like that is Miami, it's just like that. It's super fun. It's super cool, I love Miami. Anyway, so I, this is, oh, this is all white stuff. <sighs> yeah, kind of like, oh, you have family in Syosset, but Syosset's nice too. Syosset's like super nice. Oh, this is cute. What the hell is this? This is my sister's. This isn't mine. This is like so, it's so funny to like go through and like see all the stuff that like, that I've inherited. Oh, Jacksonville is cool. It's not like Miami though. Jacksonville, I was, uh, I was there for a hurricane. Jacksonville's kind of like Orlando. It's not as fun. Miami, it's like just, Jacksonville, you have to drive far to get to the beach from where, where I stayed there. When I went to Miami, it was like, just the beach is, is so close. You don't like big snow, just, yeah, it's like, I don't like cold. And California, California is like, if Miami and New York had a baby, that would be California. I don't know why, even though California is like bigger than both of the places, but it just reminds me of like a nice mix between the two. Um, it's just nice. It's a, it's a really nice, nice mix of, of both. So I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy all these places. <laughs> oh, my friend's name on Minnesota is Nikki Baker. She was originally in this YouTube channel called Prager, Prankers in Love was her original channel. And then I think she's just on her vlog channel now, but you guys got to look her up. It's, um, she got divorced, so she, she doesn't do Prankers in Love anymore. Um, but she's really sweet and she's in Minnesota. You should follow her. You're in Rhode Island and have been to Boston and New York. Yeah, Boston's cool. Rhode Island's beautiful. I shot a movie, Catskill Park, we shot it. Catskill Park and um, Catskill Park was in, I think in Rhode Island, 
or like on the way to Rhode Island where the, I'm trying to remember where exactly it was um and then uh I know for uh when I did muck I had to drive by Rhode Island I don't know where exactly but yeah where do you live Teresa is it cold <laughs> Oh, your sister just got back from Florida. Oh my God. Yeah, I see on the news, it looks crazy, Florida. I don't know, that's where, I, that's where I'm saying, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. My friend Doug, who's here, he moved to, to another state because it was so crazy. I have no idea. It's just, it's just been some crazy times, what we're all going through. But um, let's go downstairs and see what the family is up to. See if they're, my uncle might be angry at me. I hope not. They want me to uh, help them get, they want to all, everyone wants to watch Hamilton. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I just turn the light off on everybody? Hey, Lauren, come to Boston. Nice. All right, let's try the brownie. Everything's really good. My mom's watching World of Dance and she's like, she's like the Philippines just danced. They were amazing. That's so good. Did this, is this a repeat? <laughs> wow. Here, hold on. I guess the brownies were good because they're, they ate more than half of them. <laughs> Mommy, how are the brownies? Great. <laughs> they said it is a repeat. Okay. All right, guys. Moment of truth right now. We're going to try this. Do you want to watch Hamilton or you want to finish watching this? You going to go to bed? Come on. Let's watch a show. Mm. This is okay. It's not warm anymore. That's sad. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> All right. Guys, this is why I need to work out. I love you so much. Thank you for sharing this. I might try to go on Patreon later tonight. We'll see. And yeah, guys. Night.